there, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are going over lesson 1.1 of our fourth grade Go Math Florida math book. Lesson 1.1 is all about modeling place value relationships. When you hear that word modeling, that means draw a picture of it or make it with manipulatives. So in order to draw a picture of a number, which let's just say we use the number, for example, we're going to use... 321 for today's lesson. Um, what they say when they want you to model 321 is they want you to use, um, draw pictures of these right here that would equal up to 321. So let's quickly go through what these are called. If you have one little one, it's called a cube. That's what you would use for the numbers that are in your ones place. If you have 10 of those together, so that would be called a long 10 of those to together. So that would be one times 10 equals 10. You would have one of these. Now, if you had 10 times 10, which gives you 100 or 10 of these longs, you would put them together to make a flat. So instead of drawing 10 longs, you draw a flat. After that, if you see the pattern here, we're multiplying by 10 each time. So 100 times 10 is 1,000, and that would give you a cube. Now I want you to notice another pattern here that we see along the bottom. It says cube, long, flat. Cube, the next one will be a long. And then if we continued that pattern, after 10,000 multiplying by 10, we would get 100,000. That next one would also be called a flat. So not only do we have a pattern going on up here at the top where each time we're multiplying by 10 to get the next number, we also have a pattern going on at the bottom where it says cube long flat, cube long flat, and it would continue and continue no matter how many times we multiplied by 10. So this big one, like I left off at, 1,000 is called a cube and that would be 10 flats put together make one cube. Okay, so going back to modeling, let me erase all this. Oh, I'm erasing my picture too. But if I erase all that and I go back to modeling my 321 in my ones place, I would draw one of my little cubes in my tens place, those are those are longs, so I draw two longs. Sorry, I know my picture's not perfect. And in my hundreds place, they have three. Hundreds are represented by flats, so I draw three flats. Now this right here, this picture that I just drew, is a model of 321. Now if you're in my class, I tell you, you can see here that these look the same. A cube and a flat kind of look the same. We don't want to get confused even though the flats are supposed to be bigger. So in my class I say it's okay if you want to to draw just a dot instead of a little cube. Just so you don't get mixed up and say hey is that supposed to be a flat or is that supposed to be a cube. Alright so that is how to model um, using place value, cubes, flats, cubes, longs, flats, and um, how to know what their name, what they're called, and how to model a number using them. Now there's going to be a second part, a second video for lesson 1.1 where we're going to talk more about place value. So please make sure you watch that too. And thank you.